So you're a small business owner, I'm mm -hmm. a small business owner. We're gonna share a little bit about a coaching principle here. We're gonna go through the four steps to learning. Um, in this case, we're gonna be looking at the four steps to learning. It's an Abraham Maslow um, principle. Uh, actually, I think a lot of people have participated in this, but his name's been uh, linked to the top of it. So I, I, I reference it fairly frequently in that fashion. Um, but we're going to talk about capacity, right? Because you're a solopreneur. Yes. Uh, I'm a solopreneur. And uh, I know there's a lot of other solopreneurs out there. And capacity is something that everybody wonders about. You know, how am I going to get this thing? So let's talk about uh, the four steps to learning, kind of go through it, describe it, and, and how this might work from a capacity. How would we handle capacity? Because there's only 24 hours in a day. There's only one of you. There's only one of me. Right. Right. So the first step, the, the S represents the learning curve. Um, the first step in the, in the four steps to learning is unconscious incompetence. And I talk yes. to people and I say, hey, look, this is, what's the other term for unconscious incompetence? You don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. Right. And I think, you know, this is a tough place to be because it's hard to move off of this spot. It's not something that we can do uh, on our own. Often it takes some inspiration yes. or insight from someplace else. Uh, you know, on the freeway, you see a bunch of billboards, right? They're all designed to, you know, inspire you to go do something, right? right. So it might be video, it might be somebody you talk to, it might be, you know, any number of different directions. It could be an experience you have over and over again, and finally one day you just realize I can't keep doing this. Yeah, and it's out of your control though to move, right? But once you see that thing, once you get in, once you reach that next thing, you instantly transport into the next level, which is, uh, which is the conscious, conscious and incompetence. Yeah. Conscious incompetence, right? So yes. now we know something exists, but we don't know how to do it. Right. But now at least it's in our control. It's right. in our it's in our charge. We can decide if we want to go somewhere and do something about it. We can say, I want to go learn about marketing. I want to go learn about coaching. I want to go learn. We can do those kinds of things. Right. It's in our control whereas the previous one is not in our control. Um, now, now, once we move, decide to move from conscious incompetence, the next step is uh, called or conscious competence, right? So con now we know how to do something, but we don't necessarily know how to do it well. Right. right? And I, I love the story about learning <laughs> to drive a manual transmission car. That's how I started. Right, so yep. uh, the first week, how'd I go? Um, it was, it, it was nerve-wracking, and, yeah. and it seemed like I was making more mistakes than I was actually doing things right. I knew the pattern, you know, you, you got a floor shift and you got to work the, the brake and the, or the, the clutch and the gas, but nothing seemed like it was smooth. So everything was a, an effort. Every, you know, I, I had to sec, I was second guessing myself on a lot of stuff. I knew what I was supposed to be doing, but it just wasn't flowing. And every time you did it wrong, right, the car yes. would give you some feedback. It would oh, tell yeah. you that you, you failed, you didn't do that right. And so you practice. You right. keep going and keep going and going because like not learning to drive is not an option. Well, in that situation, you always have the benefit of when you start to smell the clutch, um, you realize you're way that's, off track. That's another kind of feedback, yeah. Or the car stalls yes. or any number of things, right? right? So with practice and feedback, we move to the last stage, which is unconscious competence. And this yes. is a level of proficiency. Uh, we don't necessarily need to be an expert, but we're proficient at this point. We can kind of get around and, and now you don't really have to think about it. You're not, you're not having to go through the mental process. This of is how when you this just, you, you're just moving right through it and you're not necessarily thinking about the stages or the steps. You're just doing it because it's, it's comfortable. It flows there.